smoky one. So I know what you're saying. You're saying, Jeremy, it's been like two weeks, man, since your last upload. What the hell? You just been sitting around smoking cigars and drinking coffee? Well, I promise that is not all I've been doing. <laughs> Working from home and running my own business, being my own boss, is probably one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I absolutely love both things. But both things come with their own set of, um, we'll say, challenges. So, first on the list is a couple of things that have been time leeches um, that are my fault. They're controllable things. One, Studio space. I'm not gonna go into that too deep because I wanna do a whole video on the changes I made and why I made them, but it was great for hanging out. It wasn't so great for being a dual space of being my cigar room and being one of my main sets that I shoot a lot of videos in. But like I said, we'll go deeper into that, but that took me a while. The other thing that's always going on in the background is all the merch I do. What do we have going on? Let me look, actually, I forget. We got so many damn projects going, I forget which ones they are. We got, uh, we did the Cigar Bible very recently, if you guys saw that. We also have the whiskey version of that coming real soon. We got the new version of the man car before too long. Working on a cigar number, um, working on a cigar bundle with the guys from Cigar Club, and a few other projects that are long-term projects that we're just now starting. But a lot of the projects I do, we completely design these things from the ground up, which takes a lot more time in the research and development, so to speak, of them. It's it's a fun one and I enjoy it and you guys all seem to love it, so I'm gonna keep doing it, but it does eat up a lot of time in the background that isn't necessarily helping with getting out more content more frequently and, and being efficient at this. So those are the kind of fun time leeches. Those are the things that take a lot of time, but they're somewhat planned and they're enjoyable. Then there's the other category, when the shit just hits the fan and you have to figure out a way to deal with it. Yeah, that um, that used to be where my shower and my wife's vanity were. Stucco leak, water, had to rip out all this stuff to fix the damage and also make sure there's no mold in the walls because of the moisture, which mold's bad. So, you know, one, stucco. And uh, two, this is the kind of stuff that's not necessarily a fun delay. Wall explosions that you have to deal with. <laughs> You know, it is what it is. You just take your lumps and keep on moving. But this is where, uh, you know, I used to like take a shower and uh, get clean and keep from stinking. Speaking of keeping from stinking, take a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's video, Native Deodorants. Come on, that was a great segue. Don't even play like it wasn't. I was looking for a deodorant that was aluminum free. Then my wife actually suggested this company and I tried it. Instantly loved it. Went on really easy, nice and smooth. It didn't irritate my armpits. Some of the other stuff that I had used had broke me out and like gave me rashes and shit. It also lasted for a long time. Like a good 24 hours after this stuff, my armpits are still fresh and clean. Some of the other stuff I use like, an hour later, you smell like a buffalo. Another thing I really like about Native is they do offer plastic free. I've been in the process of trying to eliminate as much plastic from my life as I could. You know, help the environment. Be a responsible human being. Not to mention, it makes this cool little like push pop. Remember push pops when you were a kid? I don't suggest you eat this though. It does smell delicious, but I wouldn't eat it. It probably wouldn't be good. This scent is, uh, this is charcoal. I don't know, a lot of their scents I feel like are kind of unisex, right? They could really go either way. Some lean a little more masculine, some a little more feminine, but I feel like a lot of these could lean either way. This to me just smells kind of fresh. It kind of reminds me of like, like one of those like clean linen or ocean air candles or something. Just like a fresh, nice smell. One of my absolute favorites, I don't have it down here with me, is the citrus musk, I think is what it's called. It's, I would say leans more masculine. I don't know how to explain musk, but it's just kind of a manly scent. But yet with the citrus, it's still kind of fresh. So it's fresh and manly. Everybody wants to be fresh and manly. <laughs> Normally you can pick three different scents in like a little pack you can put together on their site. And I think that's around $39. Right now for my subscribers, they're offering that for $26, which is like, I believe 33% off, which is a killer deal. They're also offering, I think it's around 20% off on their body washes and toothpaste, stuff like that. Use code SIRES and click the link down below to take advantage and get the best price. That's a good sound, right? I mean, that's fun right there. 
and it smells great. Click the link, use the code, get a good price on some deodorant. The other kind of unfortunate thing we had to deal with at the beginning of this year was Rona. Yes, Rona got through my defenses. For two years, we managed to avoid it. <laughs> my wife and kids say it's because I'm paranoid. <laughs> but it finally breached my defenses and it got through. My oldest son got it from school and he brought it in and then my wife got it. Fortunately, my two youngest and myself were able to avoid it, but there was like a two week span there where everybody was, you know, quarantined, sleeping in different rooms, trying to stay away from each other. Fortunately, nobody got super sick, very mild uh, case of it in both instances of my wife and my oldest son, but nevertheless, shit like that screws the pooch, you know? Ooh. Man, this is nice. Here we got hickory wood chips, cherry wood chips. This is from a company called Chard. This is really nice, look at that, can you see that? Put the logo on it, check this out. You see that? I was just talking about this in a video the other day, or probably a couple weeks ago now, about these fancy whiskey smokers, and this seems to be, got some hickory chips, some cherry chips, apple chips, white oak, and this is all customized, look at that. Bang up job, that's leather. You guys know how I like leather. Man, this is really nice. Go check these guys out. Chard, C-H-A-R-D. Yeah, let's just check it out real quick. Let's see, we'll take this off. I'm not making a drink. We're just gonna see how smoky it gets. Let's do some cherry wood chips. Put some wood in there. A little pinch. A little pinch in there. A good bit of smoke and then it's got like magnets so you don't burn yourself because i'm sure this metal gets hot very woody i think that works better than my uh <laughs> my ghetto traeger setup i had going <laughs> thank you people at chard for sending that uh, i might have to do a full video maybe uh comparing and seeing some different cocktails and how that works. So we'll definitely have to check that out. That's really cool. Speaking of cocktails, that's another thing that takes up time, right? Prepping for videos is one of these things that you don't think about, but you gotta get all the materials you need for the videos and stuff, and sometimes that can take up a good bit of your time. So I got a video coming that requires several different spirits, and I'm unfortunately out of a couple of them. And they're not necessarily always easy to find. So there's this new liquor store that is right down the road for me that we are stopping by. I'm hoping they've got what I need, because if they don't, my next option is to drive into the town center. The town center is like this huge shopping area with like all these outdoor mall type situations, like a mile, mile and a half of just stuff. There's a total line there. They always have everything, but I would literally rather eat an entire bag of than go to the town center, an entire bag. I really hate that area. It's crowded. It's traffic -y. Say a quick prayer with me. But these folks have what we need. Good old Shores liquor to the rescue. Come on with your come on. Thousands of tears later. Well, close but no cigar. This means we gotta go to the dreaded town center.
truly hate coming in here. Even though they have a ton of whiskey, it's usually pretty picked over because of how many people go through here. But mission accomplished. I will give them that. If you need a wide selection of shit, total wine, they're on it. So it took uh, several hours and driving around a good bit of Jacksonville and St. Augustine, but we got the stuff for the next video. But this is the kind of thing I'm talking about with you know, unexpected delays, right? So all you're doing is just getting some of the stuff you need for the next video. It ends up taking you over a half a day just to pick up supplies, right? There's a video coming where we're doing some whiskey cocktails um, and one of them needed Drambuie. Shores had that, but of course they didn't have these two, which I understand because I've never even heard of them. One is something called Benedictine, uh, and then another one is a walnut liqueur. And then while I was at um, Total Wine picking up these two things, it's called Cognac the Forgotten Casks. And over here it says, perfect cigar match. So, I don't know, I figured I'd give it a try. I'm not a Cognac guy. I don't know, this could be complete garbage, but it got pretty good ratings at Total Wine, so I figured we'd give it a try. So yeah, St. Augustine to get this, all the way into Jacksonville to get these two and then just had to pick this up. We haven't done one of these kind of videos in a bit, so I figured we could just hang out and kind of give you an update of what the hell's been going on for uh, since the beginning of 2022. This video's coming, whiskey cocktails. We're gonna start making that today, actually. So I'm gonna stop talking to you guys and get to making this so we can put another video out. It's not two weeks. <laughs> If you guys did enjoy this, feel free to smash that thumbs up button. That always helps us out. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so. We'd love to have you on board. I hope everyone is having a fantastic week. We'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna have a good week. I got all these booze. Booze always equals good times.